people of God, in the summer of 1992, uh, I was returning home uh, from a family reunion in Iowa, and it was a Sunday afternoon, and I pulled off of Interstate uh, 70 into Grand Junction, Colorado for the night. And like many of you, uh, when you go on vacation and it's a Sunday, you're thinking, hey, we, we need to find a church, we need to get to Mass, and I was thinking the same thing. However, I did have uh, a Mass kit uh, in the trunk of my car and, and settled for celebrating Mass privately in my motel room. At the conclusion of celebrating a private Mass in my motel room, I had made the decision on that Sunday afternoon that I would never, and never say never, that I would never celebrate Mass privately again. It's just not the same celebrating Mass without a congregation. Sacraments are public celebrations. And uh, I don't own the sacraments. I don't possess the sacraments. The sacraments are not mine. They belong to you, the people of God. They belong to the church. I am simply a steward of the sacraments, the steward of what God has uh, given to me. And nonetheless, the church does allow priests to celebrate Mass privately. Well, I held up to that own personal commitment not to celebrate Mass uh, privately for 28 years until this pandemic. And since uh, we have closed our doors, I have celebrated uh, private Mass daily, but I just want you to know it's not the same. It's not the same. Um, I miss you. I miss your presence. As Walt Whitman says in Leaves of Grass, we convince uh, by our presence. And I just look forward to the time that we can come together. What helps me when I celebrate Mass uh, privately is I, as I look out, um, many of your pictures are in the front row. And on this poster board, I have a number of pictures. And so this helps me to connect with you, my Corpus Christi family. Um, I just want you to know that I look forward to the day that we do come together. Carol Colgill, who was uh, the director of faith formation in the early years of the Diocese of Orange, um, and wrote a book on the Sacrament of Reconciliation, and uh, uh, had her PhD, a very well-grounded person, once said, expect a miracle during the Easter season. So every Easter season, the words of Carol Colgill live in my mind, and so every Easter season, I expect a miracle. And this is the miracle that I expect. That by the end, between now and the end of the Easter season, which is Sunday, uh, May the 31st, Pentecost Sunday, that our doors are open again and that we are together as a faith family, celebrating God's love for us, receiving Holy Communion, and simply being Corpus Christi, the body of Christ. So I conclude with these words from the psalmist, Psalm 122. Um, and something that I look forward to and that you look forward to. I rejoice when I heard them say, let us go to the house of the Lord. My blessing is being your pastor now and for many years to come. God bless.